Hi YouTube, these just came in and I thought that we'd go ahead and talk about them. Let's do that. Okay, you can see that I've got here the Prismacolor Premier. Let's get that in focus there. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Comes with 12 pencils. Prismacolor Ebony. Ultra smooth jet black. Jet black graphite. And you can even have it in another language. I have no idea what language that is. Sorry for my ignorance. All right, there's the side. There's the back. Let me pull away here. All right. can see that there you go it says that it's ultra smooth jet black graphite leads to produce thick dark lines and are easily blendable soft large diameter pencils ideal for drawing sketch sketching portrait and figure drawing illustration and fine art pencil work okay so this is not a writing pencil this is a drawing pencil so we won't use writing paper, we will use drawing paper. Ta-da! Drawing paper. Alright. Now, let's see what these babies look like inside. Unboxing here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just pull one out. Alright. And there you go made in Mexico I can see right there it's kind of a dark gray paint finish with white lettering very bold lettering as you can see Prismacolor Ebony jet black extra smooth 14420 and you can see on the ends you can see the lead and it is a thick core thick core on the end there you can probably make it out right there you see that in the light there okay and the other side is the same so of course there's this, apparently there's no wood or eraser or anything on either end so I guess it's up to you to decide which end you want to sharpen you know you could sharpen both ends wouldn't that be cool why not let's try that bring out my handy helix a5 from the UK oh yeah I love this sharpener does it fit it fits good Let's give it the old crank. And I'll do the other side. That way, you don't have to stop to sharpen it as often. All right. That was exciting. I want you to check that, baby. Woo! With a thick core, that's the ah. kind of sharpening. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, what do I got there? Well, that's not good. I got a little bit of wood splitting right there. I could put my nail right in there too. Oh okay, well that that's a negative right there. Look at that. Oh. Okay, Jeez, not such great quality wood apparently. Anyway. So you can draw and then draw when the other side gets dull. Well, let's see what we can do with this puppy here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, first I'm going to just kind of do a light shading here before I test out how dark this puppy is. Oh, that's nice. Can you see that? It's smooth. And it goes on really nice. And it's kind of a, it's a dark, definitely a dark pencil. Yeah. Hmm. I'll go a little lighter there. Okay. Now we'll add some pressure here. Oh yeah. 
a nice drawing pencil. Now, you know what? Let's see what kind of range we can get on this thing here. Okay, so I'm going to start off here. And I'm going to zoom in again. Okay. Oh, by the way, somebody did ask me to do a smear test on, on my pencil videos. And just so that you know that I actually am reading your comments and, and I hear you, I'm going to do what you ask. See? As expected, soft pencil smears. Yep. That's right. Remember, this is not for writing. This is for drawing. You want it to smear. Trust me. If you do graphite drawing, you want it to smear. This is a good thing for all those who are wondering. Of course, it's not a good thing to do it with your finger. Well, I thought I'd interrupt here for a moment to show you my latest charcoal and graphite drawing. There was definitely a lot of blending done for me to achieve this effect. Oh, get that clean. Oh, look, clean. Okay, this is good. So you definitely want to give that puppy a, you know, Thumbs up, right? Yeah, all right. Don't criticize the art. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our gra gradu graduate, <laughs> uh, you know, the from dark to light to dark to whatever. Okay, so let's start dark here. And I think I'm in the camera view. That's good. All right. Let's see how light I can get this thing by easing up on the pressure. Because I tell you, pencils that where you can go really dark and then you can get really light, those are desirable for when you can't carry a lot of pencils around with you. You can draw a full scale drawing, full contrast, with one pencil if you can get the scale down and as you can see with the lightest of pressure I am able to get some value down that is really light although this pencil is a dark pencil I like this pencil. This is a really nice pencil. Okay, so you have my recommendation for the Prismacolor Ebony. Oh, one thing that I don't recommend is don't sharpen both ends. Just re I've never done this before, but I just realized that when you're holding it here, that doesn't feel too good. Of course, I could just put a holder on it, which I'll probably do right now. So you can just do something like this. See if that will work. Nope. Can't do that either. Looks like it's just way too long. Hmm. Alright. Don't sharpen both ends. Sharpen one end. But it has a nice range, as you can see. It's nice and soft. I'm using light pressure. You could do some really nice blending with this. I like this. This is a really, really nice pencil. Okay, so I like this pencil. It's a good pencil. It's worth having. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.